Hello everyone. Welcome to Classy Power App. In today's show, we will discuss about the environment variables in the Power App. Okay. So let us understand why there is a need to introduce this concept in the Power App. Earlier, whenever we do the development and after the, our development or testing, we need to move the our system to the production environment. So if your application, if your system is using SharePoint as a database, okay. So once you, your deployment would be done at the time, you need to open your application, your canvas application in the production environment to change the connection of your development data source to the production data source. OK, so that's why in this is not a good practice to open the app to the production application in the edit mode. OK, we can't edit our application in production environments. So that's why this environmental variables action items comes into the picture okay so let's see how we can create the environment variables and how it is allowing users to change the data source connection from development environment that from development data source to the production data source without change without opening the application in the production environment okay so let's start so i have already opened one application okay so you can see uh, it is nothing just a single screen so i'm just adding one gallery okay once my gallery is here and one simple because we need it to be very simple and so on so that it would be easy for uh, for everyone to understand it and after that you need to just go to the settings and since that setting in the general just scroll down a little bit till and here you can see this automatically create environment variables when adding data source it means whenever you add new data source to your environment to your application it will create the automatically create one environment variables okay not one it can create two or more so just on it turn it on and simply close it now it's the time to add our data source to the SharePoint. For now, this environment variables is only for the SharePoint data source because whenever we are deploying our application from the production from the development environment to the production environment, only SharePoint would makes the problem. Because of this data source, we need to open our application in the edit mode and change the connections to change the data source to the production data source, not the development data source. Okay because whenever we are in the de development environment, we connect our application to development data source, not to the production, okay? So in order to that, we need to at attach our application to the SharePoint data source. So let me connect it to my one of my SharePoint list. So here you can see this, only recent sites is there no advanced option is there it means that is not enabled now so we just go back and try to see why it is not enabled it is already on it should be able to okay i think we need to first save it and then we can do it just save your application with a with any name let's say uh, environment variables app and save in a cloud itself so just save it once it gets saved now just go back and again go to the settings and this one should be yes on okay now come back here and try to connect with the data source. Point. So here you can see this advanced option has come it means now of the settings we have enabled to create the automatically create the environment variables is enabled in our system in our application okay so i'm just connecting it to my site and my list that's i'm using this site 
this one is would be my list to whom I need to connect this application. Okay, and simple connect it. Once I click on the connect, it will give me that two involved variables would be created when I'm connecting to one SharePoint list. Okay, one is for the site, another one for the list. Okay, two involvement variables. If I uh, try to connect with another list at a time, it will create only one because the site connection variable would already created okay so let's save it and once it would be done you can see it will give you one data source in here and now you can connect your application this i'm simply connecting this to my gallery and this form to my data source and this is let's hide it once okay this is gallery two so little small things in order to make your app in a running mode get it to dot selected so now it is good and two icon one for us this is for new form and another for save okay yes so now it should work this is nothing just one title and the Twitter by display name okay so it's my <laughs> name so let's play it once and here you can see if I click on the plus new if I write for test four and if I simply save it I can set here okay so we have simply created one application in which we have created two involvement variables okay and we simply again save it publish it so that we can end up with the latest version of the app for application and now let assume this application is ready for deployment okay if you are simply exporting this application from here only like without adding it to any solution if you export this app only at a time if you open the app at your production site you would you would not be able to player app at the time it will give you the error that the involvement variables are missing okay that's why we need to add this application in this solution okay and after that we simply send push that solution to the production environment we can't simply send this application to the production if you send it it will give you the error that uh, involvement variables are not present okay that's why it needs to be added in the solution so i have already created one solution so here is my solution hmm. let me just refresh it once and my app is almost ready yes now i can proceed okay so here you can see i need to just create one solution let's create let's say Test in where solution okay and I'm selecting publisher as normal CDS publisher default CDS publisher and version at same 1.0.0 and simply create it okay once I done with that it simply created a solution here so here it is and just I'm just opening it so inside that you can see i've i'm having nothing in this solution okay see i have nothing in this one if i create an application from here once you add your application to the data source at a time two involved variables would be created here by default okay so if you create an application from here first it will create the environment variables and then your application would be created here 
but if you have already created one application and you need to add the existing application this is the new project that i'm showing you right now so just go to your add existing and app and canvas app okay so just go to the canvas app. it's it's outside the solution this one is the app we have just created so we simply add this and web is locked because it is already open in the edit mode that's why it give you this type of error so just close it and again do the same and now you will see this app would be in the solution it is taking it to add yeah it add successfully so here you can see this solution is containing only the app if even if you try to export this solution at right now you won't be able to play the app at the production environment because again the same problem will arise is that environment variables are missing so in order to make your solution ready for export so just click on these three dots and there's an option to add required components okay once you click on this button you will see it will add two components so these are nothing just the environment variables we have created when we are adding our application to the data source remember so these two are the environment variables now our solution is ready okay in first try to uh, like when you are exporting the solution first you need to re uh, remove the values of the environment variables because if the same values would be passed in the export file in the exported uh, zip file at a time it won't ask anything and it will simply deploy the same app at the production environment with the same data source with the development data source okay but if you want to change the data source connections automatically or uh, without opening the app in the edit mode at a time you need to first remove the values that are stored in the environment variables then you will see how you, this environment variables actually works so we simply go to the edit we are clicking on the, this deploy list okay so now here i can see these are the things like the name of the connection the data type the connection this is my this is using my connection and this is the current list and here you can see this is the current list value we need to just delete this just remove this from this solution not from this environment okay it should be very good it, you need to remove this from this solution so that whenever you export import this solution at another end at a time the system will ask you the late the fresh value the updated value okay so we'll simply delete this okay it's deleted now and we do the same for the another variable as well so the system also ask you to select the site okay so let's just do it once and so here is the current site we need to just remove this one from this solution okay so now we are ready and now we'll simply export this as a publish so let me just publish it once it should not take much time so let's wait for some seconds I'm just pausing this because uh, I think in all customizations, publishing all customization system takes little time because my system is already to take. So I'm just pausing it for. So now it's published and we simply go next. And we need it will ask you what export you would like to have, either the managed or unmanaged. Obviously, you know the difference between managed and unmanaged. Managed are the solution that can't be modified but unmanaged are the solution that can be modified okay so we since we are sending it to the production environment or that or you can say the testing environment at a time the recommended one would be the managed one so we we'll simply select the same one and unfortunately same and export now it's simply download one exif file to my system so here you can see this is currently exporting solution okay so let it will simply create one zip file to system let me just navigate you to my another environment where i'm 
and taking that environment as my production environment okay 